Next thing I want to go over is time aligning. This is a big, big deal. I mean, I sang everything pretty well, but if you really zoom in, like, check it out. Like, I kind of started this word a little bit later than everything. These two are pretty on point together, but maybe I, you know, ended it a little bit short here and then started on time, you know, so it's, they're not super duper perfect. Like notice this is kind of where the beginning of this law starts and this one starts here and this one starts here and this one's over here. So they're not perfectly aligned. And um, even though they sound pretty darn good, you maybe won't notice it as a problem. But when I play you the before and the after, you're going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's on point. So just take a listen. La, 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 la. Yeah, we want to get these perfectly aligned with each other and they are not tuned so uh, today is just about uh, the like precision editing we'll get into tuning um, I think in week four so time aligning by hand is what a lot of people do like to do I don't <laughs> but if you want to go that route and be super perfect um, let's look at what that would look like okay um, Probably not going to try to mess with uh, the in the middle of words, but I can definitely um, let the guy, let the lead be the guide and then just move the backgrounds over a bit. So let's first do. Let's first do these and I'll probably place a cut like this so that I can easily nudge things over. So this one's a little late to me, so maybe I'll nudge it. That looks pretty good. Uh-huh. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Um, I'm going to change my nudge factor from 1,000 samples to 100, so this is going to be a little more fine-tuned. Yeah, that's closer. Still a little off here, but... If you want to if you want to do this by hand, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, looks like I sang my back. Looks like I sang my backgrounds like way earlier than the lead on this one. So I'm just going to select all of them and nudge them over to my right. Maybe like there. Maybe this one's a little too far off. Cool. This one's way later. Yeah, these three look pretty in alignment. I'm just gonna nudge them over. So that sounds, I mean, that looks that looks pretty close. Let's hear it. La 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 la. Okay, not terrible. I don't like leaving these unfaded now. <laughs> That's a little bit closer, okay. Let's look at something a little more complicated. Uh, let's look at uh, my milkshake. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to drag my lead down so that I can look at it uh, up close with the background. So, yeah, by the way, I had all these stacks going. I had them muted. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. So I chose this one. I loved how I kind of had like this mm, lead in. My milk. So I'm doing this mm, this thing in the very beginning, but I did not do that in any of my backgrounds. So the beginning part is just not going to be able to be lined up by hand. But when we use vocal line, it will. So um, let's just, and I'm going to show you vocal line, but just for the purposes of showing you aligning by hand, I'm only going to pick one. I'm going to do the green and line the green up to the lead. Um, and then I'm going to leave the others because it's not going to matter. So I'm going to vocal line. Backgrounds, not as not as egregious if you cut in the middle of like a kind of connected word because it's not going to be in the forefront. So it's okay if there's like a little bit of a chop as long as you, you know, have your fade and maybe do a little baby fade um, just so there's no click sound. You know, when you place that cut, it can create a click sound. So I'm going to nudge this way over and I'm looking at this little dip right here. And let's maybe make these a little bit bigger. Gosh, I don't like doing this by hand. I just cheat and use the 
use the plugin. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at this little dip right here as like a good place to kind of line it up. Maybe we go this way a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then always, always make sure you place a cut like so because if I start moving this over, I'm going to move everything over and I might not want to. Like so. <laughs> so I'm just going to nudge this part. All right. Let me let me just like go fast. I'm going to just find little spots to place a good cut and then I will move things over. Uh, this is an S, clearly, because it's super dense. Let's listen. Brings out the boys. I knew it. So with S's, remember, it's it's not it's not a terrible thing to place cuts in the middle of S's. Once in a while, you will hear the double S sound, but you got to just use your ears. Uh, I find that pretty often. I don't have that problem. So um, I like where the beginning of this is looking, but then this kind of gets a little late. So I'm going to cut in the middle of the S. And nudge it over. And then I'm probably going to see if this fade is okay. I'll probably make it equal power instead of gain. Here we go. Brings all the boys. Brings all the boys. Sounds good to me. Do my fades. Look like a good girl. All right, what do we got here? Well, I could maybe just move this whole thing over. Let me find a nice place to cut. Boys to the, the this part I could probably get away with. Let's see how that feels. Brings all the boys to the yard and there. Not bad. Brings all the boys to the yard. Okay. That's that sounds fine. Ooh. Did you hear that little that little gleek sound like that uh mouth sound? Boys to the yard. I think it's this. And I don't need all that space anyway, so I'm going to cut that out. I put it there. Cool. The boys to the yard and they're like... Oh, no, it's like in here. I don't think anyone's going to hear that in the mix, though. So we're just going to... We're just going to pretend we didn't hear that. To the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Okay, so this one looks a little harder. Uh... So this little part right here, it's like I sang it faster than I sang the lead. So one thing uh, we can do is place a cut at like the beginning of whatever this word is. And I'm going to use my time shifting trim tool to actually time stretch this. And <laughs> that should do the trick. Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like... You can hear it up close and you'll hear that. That's what um, vocal line is doing. It's doing a lot of little time stretching and shifting things over. Um, but when you play it along with the lead, you cannot hear that little time stretch artifact. Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like... it's. Yeah, it's like super, super together. And you can barely hear. Do you notice that little time stretchy glitchy sound though? Yard and they're like it. They're like like you, you can hear a little bit of a robotness to it. Yard and they're like it's better than yours. Damn. All right. So getting back to it, maybe place a cut there. Move that over. That looks good. Maybe a little more. Just a just a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. Like, it's better than yours, damn right. It okay. See how much time this is taking? It's annoying. This is taking way too long for anyone's liking. Okay. But you know what? If you are doing, like, a really emotional ballad that's just, like, piano and... You think that your backgrounds are going to be very exposed. That there could be a chance that we hear that glitchiness that comes with time stretching and vocal line. Then, yeah, you might want to just line things up by hand. I don't love this 
one right here. Hopefully it's not too bad. Mm. Okay. That's good. Looks like it's just the breath. Let's also, you know, real quick, let's talk about the breath thing because we clearly won't need to hear all these breaths. Sometimes there's a really prominent S at the end of a phrase and I might delete like all the other S's or breaths. So let's go ahead and delete these. And if you listen, like all we really need is one breath from the lead. Yours, I can teach you, but I have to. Like there's no reason we need all these breaths. Yours, I can teach you, but I have it sounds almost the same. So um, I would say decide how much time you want to spend on this. I tend to just leave the breaths in because it takes forever to go and like delete all of them. I mean, I breathe a lot <laughs> and and then to fade everything in and out. So I tend to just leave them and um, my compression kind of takes care of everything. Let's just finish this time aligning and then um, have a listen to it. This is a little late. That looks pretty good. These look pretty on. Maybe. Hmm. This is a not ideal move, but you could do this. Let's hear what that sounds like. The charge my milkshake. Yeah, it sounds fine. The charge my. The alternative was would be to have a space. The charge my milk. Then it's gonna have that double sound. The charge my milk. Even if you fade it. So, uh, yeah. Sometimes I do this kind of strategically. I guess. The charge my milkshake brings. I know what you're thinking. You're like, what a random song that she picked. <laughs> okay, where are we? Oh, there's so much more. Can we skip the rest? Okay, I think you get the point. Um, that's how you time align by hand. You may want to use the time shifting tool if you're going to do all that. Or you could go buy Vocaline Ultra, which is my favorite plugin. I probably use this plugin more than any other plugin. Like I open it constantly and I, I Vocaline everything. And not only does Vocaline Ultra have time matching, it has pitch matching, which is relatively new. And it blows my mind and it's so incredible and it saves me so much time because when I do um when I do doubles of the lead and I'm just singing the same notes as the lead vocal I want those notes to be like perfectly in tune with each other so I can literally set my lead vocal as the guide I'll select it so you have to select the region that's going to be the guide and then the dub is the background that we're going to want to match what the guide is doing. You select that, hit capture. And then now that it has your data, um, it gives you the two options. So match timing, um, you want to make, I, I keep it, I keep it relatively tight, uh, around 12 milliseconds. It, that's very tight. Um, but I want you to know what the differences sound like because if you get it too tight, it starts to sound um, what's like what's called phasing. Like it's almost the same piece of audio at that point uh, and it will sound really weird. So I want to show you what that actually sounds like. Um, we'll turn this off for now. Let's just talk about the time shifting. So um, keeping it around 13, sometimes like I go up to like, yeah, like 23. That's probably the max I'll do. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be very aligned. Um, so I'll probably, let's see, can we A, B, and I'm going to turn up background, background vocal, vocal up, up so, so we can, can hear, hear it, it better. better. Okay. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm not, I realized I'm not singing, so I'll show you the pitch matching with the la-la-las. But 
Uh, for this, we're just going to use the timing because I like that it sounds like I'm sort of rapping in different pitches. So I don't want to match the pitch. I just want it to be, you know, rap however, whatever pitch you want. But timing wise, let's see what 22 milliseconds sounds like. So I've captured my guide. I've captured my dub. Now all I have to do is hit the render button. Okay, so now it's processed all of that. Now this is what it sounds like. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard And they're like, it's better than yours Damn right, it's better than yours I can teach you, but I have to charge My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard Oh my god, it's like perfect I think I really like that 22 setting um, But let's go a little tighter and compare So let's do like Two Okay my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard And they're like, it's better than yours Damn right, it's better than yours I can teach you, but I have to chop So it's super, super tight I think the fact that um, I am kind of singing in a different tone And that's one of our, that was one of our performance tips Notice I'm singing um, this in a different tone My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard I did that on purpose Gives it texture Let's find the, the double of the main lead my milkshake brings other boys. Okay, so this this one is the same tone. So let's see what it sounds like with that. So I'm gonna capture my guide. I'm gonna capture my dub. And I'm gonna render that at two milliseconds. And this is what it's gonna sound like. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you. Okay, it's not too bad actually. Um, because I'm kind of singing slightly different pitches. But if we match the pitch, this is how tight it would sound. It might be too tight. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like... But geez, how incredible is that? Like, I'm rapping, and it matches the exact pitches to the lead. Um, I think it sounds a little phasey and a little robotic. So um, if I were to match the pitch, I would keep it. Uh, I keep the pitch matching around like 1.5. And then I would keep this around that 22. And I think that would be like the sweet spot if we're going to use the pitch matching. A milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Nice. Okay. So that's an example with the wrapping. So I'm going to go ahead and vocal line the rest of my backgrounds, but um, I'm going to keep the the match pitch on just those two because those two are like me singing just like the lead. But this one that was um, a little more breathy. My milkshake bring. I'm going to leave that one uh, with match pitch off. So I also need to <laughs> do its pair. So we got that. My milkshake brings. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. Okay, uh, I do want to make one comment. Um, Vocaline is set up so that you can do multiple tracks at a time. See how now it has two dubs. Um, you can do that. I just choose not to because in my experience using this plugin, the less you give it to do, the better it's going to perform. So um, don't tell Vocaline I said that, but it performs better when you only do one at a time. And this is probably the longest section I would be comfortable doing. Like if, you know, if I had all my takes, you know, for this long period of time, um, I, I probably would cut it up and just give vocal line only like this section to do first and then give it this section to do first just so I'm not giving it too much because I feel like it starts to get a little more glitchy when you give it too much to think about so there there we have it I did this other background which is something we talk about in vocal arrangement it, sometimes it's cool to highlight some words but not all of them and I want to show you a cool trick of how I use vocal line to get these uh, 
tight with the rest. I can't use this as a guide and then like add it to this vocal line. We'll get so confused because it's not, it's literally not performing the same way. It's like, where's all the missing words? So what I'll do is I'll actually create, um, and I'll probably just use one of the dubs to do it. I'll just like duplicate this track and option drag. I'm just going to make this a fake track and then I'm going to delete it after. And what I'm actually going to do is chop off all the words that um, this background vocal isn't doing. And then I'm going to vocal line it, <laughs> vocal line it to this fake dub that I'm creating. So check this sneakiness out. Okay. See what I'm doing? Kind of doesn't matter if I fade in because <laughs> I'm going to be throwing this track out anyway. Okay, here's a funny spot. To charge my milkshake. Okay, notice I kind of held on to the charge. To charge. But I have to charge my milkshake. I think I like that and I want it to hang over. So what I'm going to do from here then is place cuts here. And I'm going to worry about this in a second. I'm just going to, I'm going to let the charge be itself. And then I am just going to uh, vocal line. Sneaky, sneaky. This. It's going to be so tight. And then we don't need this anymore. So check it out. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But I have to charge my milkshake brings all the boys. Okay, I'm going to. Pick that back up here. Um, okay, check out this weird stuff I'm going to do right now. Okay, this like starts in the middle of a word. So I'm just going to pretend that this take, this guide take did too. Same here. Um, if As long as it kind of looks like this same shape. Actually, I probably could just delete this. And this looks like a breath. So we'll just do that. Don't need all that dead space. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now we just do, uh, do this just to, just to make it easy on vocal line if they see this you know breath they're gonna be like what's this extra piece of audio so we want the waveforms looking pretty much the same okay now let's see what that sounds like Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. All right. Um, okay, I want to show you real quick before we move on with more vocal line. Uh, I did something super lazy that you should do too. And uh, this background right here. Um, by the way, I do everything in sets of two. I just sang it one time. Why did I only sing it one time? Because it repeats the same thing four times. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and then I'll copy this over. So that is not going to hurt the integrity of this song one bit. It's just going to make us a little faster. If you feel that, you know, you want to copy and paste things, go for it. That's actually called, it's called flying. Um, when you copy something and you fly it somewhere else, you know, that's, uh, so that's the term for that. All right, let's vocal line these parts. So we have the lead. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Ooh, I sang that super different. So vocal line is going to definitely make everything a lot more tight. And now because I'm singing and this is the same note, 
I would like it to do the pitch matching. So I liked my 22 millisecond setting and my 1.5. Uh, hit my, I captured my guide. I'm going to select the dub and capture it and render it. And it's pair, capture, render. What is this? Who is this? The harmony? La, 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 la. Okay, so this is a harmony. So we absolutely do not want to pitch match. Do you want to see what happens if you do? Uh, so we already have the guide selected. So um, if we do what we're supposed to do and we just capture it with no pitch matching, it'll sound like this. La, 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 la. Great. But if we accidentally leave this on, which I have done several times. La, 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 la. It literally pitched it up to match the lead. How crazy is that? <laughs> we don't want that, though. We want our harmony. So I'm going to turn match pitch off, capture it, render it. There is one other parameter in vocal line I want to show you that is insane. Um, why don't we do it with, uh, with like the main melody. All right. I'm just going to just show you. I'm just going to copy this to another track. Eh, scroll down. Just to show you this example. So I already have my, my main lead captured. Uh, let's capture this one again. I'm going to show you what the formant shift sounds like. Okay. Formant is... Basically, it's also known as like throat length. So if you ever see a knob that says throat, that is the same as formant. Um, basically, it's like kind of like the mouth shape. It's, your, it's like creating a deeper mouth shape um, or a more higher pitched mouth, mouth shape. But it's not changing the actual pitch. It's just changing the quality and the tone, which is kind of funky. Um, so right now it sounds like this. La, la. La, la, la. And when soloed, you can definitely hear the glitching that vocal line has. Um, totally fine. Actually, let's go ahead and do both of them at the same time. Capture these. And I have, so I have the formant all the way down. And that's basically, that's kind of like the only way I really like to use it. Uh, if I render it, this is what it sounds like now. La, 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 la. Um, let's see what it sounds like when we go all the way up. This is going to make me sound like a chipmunk or something. Na, 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 na. If you find a use for that, sweet. <laughs> I don't like the way it sounds. <laughs> but hey, why not? Let's just go ahead and add this in. And now when we play it all together, everything should be super, super aligned. And we have a new formant down. So that's kind of neat. La, 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 la. Warm it up. La, 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 la. Uh, Mind you, none of this is tuned. Um, okay, let's do the same with Warm It Up. The boys are waiting. Warm it up. La, 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 la. The boys are waiting. I'm going to remember to turn my form and shift off because I don't want that. And I'm going to turn my pitch match back on. Okay? Warm it up. La, 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 la. The boys are waiting. La, 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 la. Right. Warm it up. La, 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 la. The boys are waiting. Mom, milkshake. Now, just so I can, like, stop hurting your ears for five seconds, I'm going to turn my tuning on. Uh, so I do have auto-tune ready to go, but it's all bypassed. Okay, I just unbypassed. So this is just auto-tune. Um, I know I didn't sing everything perfect, so I might have to melodyne some things. Um, but now we have auto tune on. La 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 la. Warm it up. La 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 la. The boys are waiting. La 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 la. I feel like I feel like I don't like the harmony. Let's turn the harmony off. Um, I I made harmonies on this just because I want to show you harmony making, but these these harmonies are actually not in the original song. So uh, I kind of don't like them. <laughs> but okay. So guys, that's the vocal line. I mean, 
It's incredible and very incredible tool. It makes me work so fast. Honestly, sometimes I might even sing um, the background doubles of my lead. Like, not that good. And like, I don't care. I just move on because I want to be fast and I know that vocal line will fix it. Uh, I know that sounds super lazy, but I'm really efficient. And at the end of the day, it sounds awesome. So why not use these tools uh, to be more efficient? Okay, I did want to show you one more trick with vocal line. Um, so I actually have uh, another harmony I had hidden. Um, and I did the same thing. I only recorded it once. So I'm just gonna pop it over here. So, uh, so because this is a harmony, I'm gonna capture the guide, the guide, capture the dub. Um, actually, I think I sang this second one better. So I'm gonna capture that. So I need to make sure my pitch is off. So this is how I vocal line the harmonies. Capture that render it. But then what I'll often do is I'll capture the one I just did, which is now aligned with the lead. I'll capture it as my new guide. And then it's harmony pair. I'll capture that, turn the match pitch back on. So, and now the two harmonies are in perfect tune with each other. La, 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 la. Warm it up. La, 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 la. Okay. So that's our precision editing. Uh, Let's have a listen to the A, B, and hear what it sounds like unvocalized versus vocalized. And this is going to be what it sounds like before. The boys are waiting. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge and vocal line. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Without? They're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Like, do you hear that? It's better. That's where I hear it the worst. It's better than yours, damn right. They're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But I it sounds so perfect. Um, it's It might seem like so small and minuscule, but it makes all the difference. And this is definitely what a lot of the majors are doing. So... If you want to compete with the radio and have this super tight sound, please consider lining all your vocals up super tight. Awesome. So that's it for our precision editing. You know your homework this week. Record your song. Record doubles of the lead on the chorus or wherever it's appropriate. Do your comping and do your time aligning. And then next week, we're going to talk about vocal arrangement. So we're going to talk about adding harmonies, counterpoint. It's going to be awesome. So I'll see you in the next class.